Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and Apple has had some pretty interesting news lately, and there's some more information about products coming out. And so, as many of you requested last week, I'll continue doing these updates as long as there's something new. And the first thing has to do with the 14-inch MacBook Pro. Ming-Chi Kuo says that those should be expected pretty soon, and I would suspect that for a couple other reasons that I've seen personally, and that's someone I know that actually placed an order for 13-inch MacBook Pro and Apple sort of delayed them and they typically do this when they release a new product. So for example, this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro and last year they actually placed the same sort of order on the 15 inch and then they got delayed and then Apple finally shipped the 16 inch to them. So what Apple does is normally just says, okay, it's a business customer. Let's hold off. And then we'll ship that a little bit later. Once we re release the newer ones, because we know they're going to come back and get a refund and get the new ones anyway. And so it looks like we have new 14 inch MacBooks coming pretty soon with thinner bezels, just like the 16 inch that we have here. And also there's some interesting information about new iMacs and Mac minis. So along with the release of the MacBook Pro this year, or maybe sooner rather than later, we would expect new Mac minis. And I don't expect them to look much different than they do now like this. Basically the Mac mini is a pretty simple form factor factor and has all the ports and things that you would expect, but it would be nice to see a little bit of a spec bump, maybe to an eight core processor, maybe better video card options and things like that. Otherwise it's a pretty perfect little Mac and it just could use a spec bump and that should be a regular thing anyway. And then finally a new iMac. Now iMacs have not had a major redesign in a long time. They've looked basically like this for quite some time and we should see a new iMac redesign. What that redesign actually looks like though is hard to say. Now, as far as new AirPods are concerned, there continues to be information about some new AirPods, whether or not it's AirPods Lite and similar to this or AirPods Pro Lite where their in-ear is hard to say, but I hope they do not get rid of the form factor like this that doesn't sit fully in your ear. I like both of them. Hopefully they keep this. And one thing I personally would like to see is a removable battery. I think it's a huge waste to basically be able to use these for one to two years and then have the battery no longer last. So I would love to see one that maybe screws batteries on and off the bottom or something like that. That's a little bit more sustainable. It makes more sense and would make the product more long-term for most people. Now, other than AirPods Pro Lite or AirPods 3 or whatever they might be called, Apple is also working on over the ear AirPods. So it looks like according to nine to five Mac that release this picture they found, it looks like this has the design idea of what they might look like. Now they do look pretty generic from this picture, but it looks like the actual product is definitely going to be coming soon. So whether or not that's in March or September, we don't know, but it looks like Apple's definitely working on them. And then also there's a couple of things about the displays of the next MacBooks and things like that in the future. It looks like Apple is going to go heavy on mini LED and this is not micro LED. So it's not a new display technology that will replace OLED displays, but rather mini LED would allow for better backlighting of the display. So for example, one of the major issues with OLED and the reason Apple doesn't use it on say the pro display XDR is color accuracy is difficult on it. And and some of the colors fade more over time than on an LCD. So with an LCD display, it's good, but you don't have deep blacks and sometimes as vibrant colors. So instead you could have a mini led display in the background of a MacBook and allow for very deep blacks and vibrant colors in other areas with local dimming. So you can dim specific areas and they do this some now, but you would see more of that in maybe an iMac pro or an iMac and it would be really nice. And so on an iPhone, you could have the similar sort of setup where they could get rid of OLED and have a similar display as well. I don't know that they're actually going to do it on the iPhone 12, for example, but the display could look better than an OLED if they did it right. It's, it's hard to say when you see it, but OLED displays are very different. When you compare one OLED to another, it's very hard to get them color matched. And as much as a lot of people like OLEDs, there's reasons that they're more expensive and they're also not necessarily as good as others, depending on the situation. Situation. Now, of course, with the iPhone 9, I would expect that pretty soon. However, there are going to be probably a few delays, whether it be with the iPhone 12 or other things, as 
infection around the world seems to be spreading, but then China says they have it under control. So as far as that goes, maybe we'll see things resume as, as usual and maybe even see a WWDC. But right now, it wouldn't surprise me if that gets live streamed and instead we just see iOS 14 online and we all watch it from home like we normally do and we just don't get to see it in person if if we actually are allowed to go to the apple event so at this point it looks like we could just have a live stream and then an influx of new products at the end of march with say the iphone 9 maybe some new airpods air tags things like that expect those later in the, the month even if we don't have an event so i would expect that now finally with the iphone 12s there is some information saying it could possibly be delayed due to all of the craziness going on right now so if they delay it i don't think that's a huge deal in fact it might be nice to not have a million different phones release every single year but either way i would expect everything to be on time until stated otherwise apple does not ever comment on that or guarantee anything and they usually send out invites for wwdc in march or maybe early april at this point but it's hard to say maybe they're just waiting to see what happens and we'll still have it as normal or maybe not it's very hard to say at this point but i'm looking forward to new imax mac minis and especially if they have those mini led displays i think it'll be really nice to see that so let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments below because i'm really looking forward to a more inexpensive or less expensive iphone and then also maybe some new displays like i said i would love to get my hands on a new imac pro that looks like a pro display xdr and one extra thing i would love to see is a less expensive monitor from apple so i don't need a pro display xdr it's too expensive i would love to see maybe a 27 inch version or 30 inch version that's not quite as expensive but let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments below and hopefully we'll see all of these products pretty soon if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper of course i'll link it in the description as i always do and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time